Uh, we've been talking a lot about the food, but there's so much more to look at other than just the food and the animals, of course, and yes. the 4-H uh, projects. There are things to buy. You can buy right. a lot of homemade things. I saw some banners, saw some flags out here, which brings us to this story. Yeah. Like NASCAR, the State Fair takes a position on its vendors displaying or even selling the Confederate flag. Yeah, we first reported this move last month, and RTV6's Chris Prophet is live here at the fair with reaction. And Erica, the fair did make that request to its vendors. They also, uh, because in the past you would have seen this flag displayed by vendors, uh, or even sold, but not this year. We've been around the entire fairgrounds and we just haven't seen it. The fair, one of many groups and organizations and even states now rejecting the sale or display of the Confederate flag. Virginia now recalling specialty license plates featuring the rebel flag. A fair spokesperson says the event wants to be welcoming to all by removing objectionable material and that vendor contracts allow the fair to prohibit the sale of the flag or objects with its display. I just consider it history, but there's a lot of people who are offended by it and I don't think we should do anything to offend anyone. We do enough of that already. Born and raised in Indiana, so I'm a northern by birth. So it's red, white, and blue. Now, despite the IMS and also NASCAR asking its fans at the Brickyard 400 not to bring the flag in the infield areas, not in the infield, I should say in the camping areas, we saw several people that did last month and they said it's their right to bring that flag. And of course they did, but with the vendors here, they have it in their contracts that they're not allowed to do that. Reporting live at the State Fairgrounds, Chris Prophet, RTV6.